In Babylon, there is a new king. King Nebuchadnezzar died. And now his son, Belshazzar, is the new king. The new king wants to have a great feast. Therefore, he sends out invitations for thousands of his nobles. In the past, his father had invaded Jerusalem, the capital of the Jews in Israel. He had stolen all kinds of objects from the temple, including gold and silver cups. The new king, Belshazzar, wants these cups to be used at the feast for his guests to drink wine. Do you see? The king, his wives and all the guests are drinking wine from cups taken from God's temple. While they are drinking, they praise their own gods. Gods? There is only one God. What they are praising are idols made of gold, silver, bronze, iron, wood and stone. Will God allow this sinful behavior? Suddenly a hand appears on the plaster wall of the king's palace. The people see a finger writing near the lampstand. The king is shocked. His face turns pale. His knees knock together in fear and his legs give way beneath him. The king shouts, bring all the wise men to me. As soon as they stand before the king, Belshazzar says, Whoever can read this writing on the wall and tell me what it means will be dressed in purple robes of royal honor and will have a gold chain placed around his neck. He will become the third highest ruler in the kingdom. But none of the king's wise men can read the writing or tell what it means. The king becomes more scared. His face turns more pale. Also his officials are confused. The queen has been hearing the voices of the king and his officials. She comes into the banquet hall and says, May the king live forever. Don't be alarmed. Don't look so pale. There is a man in your kingdom who is very wise. Your father appointed him as the chief of all the wise men. He can explain dreams and riddles. He solves difficult problems. Call for this man, Daniel. He will tell you what the writing means. What do you think? Can Daniel explain this writing? Will God help him? You will hear it in the next story.